Hello YouTube and the social network that's created by the internet. I've been on a hiatus from making videos and it's been mostly because I've been searching for answers. I've been trying to get answers because I'm tired of just posting videos about the problem and I'm tired of wasting so much energy debating and arguing and pretty much wasting time trying to enlighten just the careless masses to stage one of what's going on when they're already up to stage 20. It's impossible to know every detail of the complexity of our reality, but it's necessary that we know what's necessary. That brings me to the first round of answers. We need to accept that we're dealing with a technological entity in the sky, or one that rules the sky, almost like a supercomputer. Harold Klaus, he's a um, German or Austrian uh, researcher. He does great work in breaking down this technological aspect of the chemtrails and the nanoparticles and how our sky is literally um, a technological apparition almost. It explains what these things are because they're not planes. At no point is the object which you see here which so many people confuse as airplanes, which are putting out, as they say, contrails, at no point does it resemble a plane. In all the footage, it shapeshifts into many things, a cluster of lights, a string of orbs, and don't get me wrong, it attempts and it tries very, very hard to resemble a plane. This, however, was the closest image of a plane I was able to pull from the footage. So what is it? Is it a demon? Maybe. Can a demon also be a technological entity? Subservient to a bigger, let's say supercomputer that works against humanity? Maybe. Is that entity right now in this computer that I'm speaking through and making this video on? Probably. But it's also in the lines, look at that. It looks like entities are in the lines. That's not normal. It's not normal for clouds to look blurry like this. You know why it does? Because it's a nano swarm. A swarm of nanoparticles acting in conjunction with each other to create images. To bend a light. To move shadows. To display what they want. Because there is a purpose, and they do have a purpose. You don't release trillions of microscopic robots without a goal. This is the actual footage I have of the line maker, in quotes, piercing one of the swarm clouds that is already in our sky. You can clearly see the line is luminescent. It reacts to the photons from the sun. It's the only thing lining up at that point. So not only do we have to accept that there are technological nanoparticles in our sky that are reacting to different things. They're different types and they do different jobs. Um, again, there's a lot of information out there on what these different jobs may be, but on a surface level, we're talking about one job is to create these swarm clouds. These black swarm clouds that come out of nowhere. And typically, as you can see here, have faces of animals or demons or creatures in them. It's no wonder that everyone's turning to the sky these days and starting to see the strangeness above. Right here's a good example of a cloud catching the photons of the sun and lighting up. That's why we have so many pink sunsets, so many bright and fantastically stunning sunsets and visuals in the sky one of the benefits of these things, but I hesitate to think there's any more. Clouds shouldn't react like that. Clouds shouldn't light up like a piece of technology. That's what they are. At the end, they are the ultimate bridge between man and machine. They are trying to unite the two. And in doing so, they want to steal our humanity. And that's what their goal is. 
If they could steal our humanity, they steal our souls. And the souls are the only things that we really have left that are stand in opposition to these creatures, to these entities, to these biotechs. Our sky is a technological war field. It's about who's going to be getting ready for battle now. Because that's what it's going to come to.